I would like to thank Kevin Smith for sending me this story, and it is coming out of Maryland, the state that I live in, but probably not near where I live at. So if y'all needed an example of white privilege in the flesh yet again, look no further than the case of David Knox. He's a 33-year-old individual, allegedly, and he is now a free man after doing something that should have kept him behind bars for a very long time. Because there's a mo on him that did not stick. The only thing he got was probation. Now, you're probably wondering, what did this David Knox character do? Well, a couple years ago, he ended up responding to an ad placed by a young girl on this website. And who basically was a drug fiend. This girl was 15 years old. And I think the ad said something about, uh, it says, well, fuck for dope. He responded to the ad. And you know what happened. So this guy literally traded one gram of heroin in order to have sex with this girl. Now, mind you, this guy is more than twice her age. She's 15. He's 33. He is old enough. If he was the if he was to be a teen parent, he could have been old enough to be her dad. At the very least, her older brother. And every time they met up. He would give her heroin and they wouldn't have sex. Now, this guy, like I said, only got probation from this. He should have been brought up on statutory rape charges and charges of dealing in illegal substance to a minor. That right there to me is definitely well over 50 years. But, you know, when you're white, you're right. And that white privilege kicked in and all he got was probation. But what I found very interesting, though, was when I was reading through the article and got towards the bottom, it started listing the amount of drugs that this girl had in her system. It says that she well, it said that she had and has experienced with 33 drugs in her life. Mind you, she's only 15 and the drugs are well, not all 33 of them is Adderall, crack, cocaine. LSD, marijuana, fentanyl, methamphetamine, morphine, oxycodone, PCP, Xanax, and psychedelic mushrooms. That's just only a small list of the 33 drugs she's experimented with in her life at only the age of 15. And all they gave this man was probation, even though he... Technically speaking, he raped this girl because she's a minor and he dealt her drugs in order to have sex with her. So he was a drug dealer. And in a way, he was a pimp because he did something to get this girl to sleep with him, knowing she had an addiction. Unlike trying to get her off the drugs and say, look, I'm going to try and take you to rehab because clearly you need help. He says, no, I'm going to take full advantage of this in this young, impressionable mind. Give her drugs just so I know she'll sleep with me. Now, had that been any other person, say a black person, jail time, hell, they probably would have made the um the kid go to jail, too, because, you know, they don't like giving black people rehab for nothing. Look at what happened with the cocaine epidemic. And they let this guy literally walk. I want y'all to get a good look at this guy's face because he's literally back on the streets. All he's getting is probation, which means all he has to do is report to his parole officer when he has to. Like, that's crazy. And this was re a repeated thing. Like I said, it wasn't a one time deal. Like this was a constant, repetitive thing. He would come with the drugs and she would give him up, give up the goods. I will, where are her parents at? Well, it says during the sentencing, he uh, apologized to uh, to the family. He says all he has to do is require is is register. I'm sorry, as a sex offender. That's <laughs> and it says uh, the is amazing because the circuit court judge who was over the case is actually a woman. Who passed down that sentence? So I got a question to the people out there. You know what? I don't have a better question other than what I was going to ask. To those Me Too heifers, I know that's, not, that's like 
uh trying to uh that's uh trying to shake a dead horse are y'all gonna say anything about this this lines right up your alley but then again i forgot tarana burke says she doesn't go after white men her mission is only to go after black men black famous men black men with money so that kind of falls on deaf ears but yeah y'all let me know what y'all think about this story down in the comments